I'm here with four-time Division One NCAA qualifier Nick Nemeth. Nick, how's it going today? Uh, it's going all right. It's going all right. All right, Nick. You're now a uh, certified WWE superstar. Got the action figure. Talk about the road from West Park, west side of Cleveland, to getting to become a uh, WWE superstar. So, uh, let's see. I um, first started training for um, <clears throat> collegiate or amateur wrestling uh, when I was five years old. Uh, one night a week, and uh, on Friday nights. I actually remember when I uh, first got there the first day. Uh, I signed up for wrestling, and there was uh, there was no ring ropes or turnbuckles. So I was kind of <laughs> disappointed. Um, that's where I started wrestling. Uh, I loved it ever since. Uh, I wrestled in St. Pat's in West Park, uh, St. Ed's High School, and Kent State College. Um, Kent State College or Kent State University? Whatever, I'll check my credit card. I think it's Kent State <laughs> University. Uh, and, Talk uh, about that. Uh, get us <clears throat> get us through. You started at St. Patrick's. I started at St. Pat's. Uh, that was an intramural thing, one one night a week. Like a CYO to, type thing. Yeah, so you got to third or fourth grade, then um, then you can uh, actually join the regular team, where it was uh, every Sunday had dual meets, and that that was six nights a week, I think, something like that, five nights a week. Um, then when I went to St. Ed's, how did you get to who? What was the catch line for St. Ed's? Why did you go there? Uh, my parents told me that if I uh, got all A's and B's for a semester, I could transfer out and go to Holy Name with all my friends, which is a co-ed uh, Catholic school. So first semester came, got all A's and B's, and they told me it was a big joke and a lie. So, <laughs> so they made you, you yeah. had to stay all boys school St. Ed's. Yeah. So, uh, but I couldn't be happier that I did because their wrestling team kicks ass. So, and I, I probably wouldn't be here without the training and conditioning I got at St. Ed's. Okay. Talk about freshman through junior year. Did you ever make the varsity at that point? St. Ed's? Yeah. Um, wrestled on our green team, which is like a second team varsity. We had like five or six levels of uh, teams there. Freshman, JV, green, white, and gold, I think. Gold's the, na gold's, the team that wins nationals year in and year out. Team, yeah, and uh, the green team wrestles a varsity schedule, but usually in southern Ohio or against uh, different teams. not really sure. Okay. Uh, I, uh, freshman year, I wrestled on the freshman team and on the JV team. And sophomore through junior year, I think I was uh, maybe 125 on the green team and the JV team. Sometimes I wrestled both. Uh, green team a lot. It's the second team varsity. And then uh, I think the only, team I, the only time I wrestled on goal was... Uh, one match my junior year, one or two matches, and then uh, my senior year. Okay. Senior year, considered one of the greatest teams still in uh, high school history. You had two-time NCAA champ Ryan Bertine, a couple weights below you. You had uh, current one of the top 155 punters, Gray Maynard, uh, multiple-time All-American Andy Rovat, world team member. Talk about that room and, and the competition level in there. Uh, that room was pretty, that was awesome. Uh, I didn't realize how good of a team the way you just said it now. Mark Jane, yeah, there was a, Mason Leonard, Mason Mark Leonard, Jane, multiple time All American. So you had all those guys on your team. You guys are 2000, or 1998 national champs. Talk about the competition level. Uh, competition level was pretty intense in there every day on a normal year. That, that year was, uh, that was awesome. And we just uh, constantly wanted to be, we didn't think best team. I don't know, in 20 years or whatever in our heads, but we wanted to be wanted to break records and we wanted to get uh, the most state individual state champs and break records points wise. And uh, I think we were a little disappointed because we didn't we, we wanted to break the record, which I think was five. And I think maybe we tied it for state champs or something. Um, that how'd was, you do in the tense room? That how'd you cool. do individually? Uh, I took fifth. I uh, I had a I blew some kind of match in the semis that was like to uh, the, the eventual champ, which was one of those twin guys. What was his name? Nickaboni. Yeah, I lost like nine seven to him in the semis. It kind of sucked. Um, actually, I guess that would have been the one that would have broke the record if we would have had all six. <laughs> that, so that kind of blows. But uh, it was still it was, it was a pretty intense team. That, that was awesome wrestling for them. We never we never uh, never didn't have an, like an intense day in that room one way or another. There's a lot of awesome guys, and you just pointed out, I forgot. Okay. Compare your college room to your high school room. Um, Workout partner-wise. 
workout partner wise. Uh, college in college, um, man, I had, I had Mike McIntyre for a couple of years, who uh, ended up not hanging out to finish the uh, finish the full term of wrestling. But it's uh, it's a lot different in college. Obviously, Ed's was the closest room I've ever been to a college room, and actually sometimes the competition was a little bit more intense at St. Ed's. But that's because that's one of you know best wrestling teams. Uh, always so that's not a big deal but uh kent kent was um was fun but it was also tough and uh i like to have fun too so i didn't uh drain myself mentally too much <laughs> but uh physically it did of course okay talk about how amateur wrestling compare it to the current wrestling you're doing now with the uh, wwe and What's the current league you're in now with Florida? Florida Championship Wrestling, which is the uh, the only developmental wrestling uh, company associated with World Wrestling Entertainment. It's somewhat of like a triple-A to baseball, I guess. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> training there, it's, it's a little bit different. There's, there's a lot of uh, psychology and, and uh, s uh, different things involved. But uh, the physical aspects, it's uh, we're in Florida, so it's actually you know about 100 degrees in the, in the room. We have a couple different rings, and it's... Uh, it gets intense in there too, you know. Everybody wants to be the next champ or next guy called up, so it, it gets intense in there. And uh, practices uh, lean towards drills and and learning with uh, maybe one third of the time, you know, set to pushing yourself and being ready to go to be able to wrestle maybe a thirty or sixty minute match. Okay. What would you say? Compare this wrestling you're doing now. Okay, the performance. Uh, entertainment wrestling compare it to amateur wrestling what would you say what would you say is more difficult compare a season to uh, six months of on the road uh, of, of course without there's no uh, some people might have to cut weight but um, I kinda I diet pretty good and uh, work out all the time and I, I enjoy eating a lot too but uh, I, I do miss the cutting the weight I, I don't miss cutting weight I was gonna it's say you place. do miss it <laughs> uh, way shredded you know you get pretty shredded but I can do that on my own now um, I, I, I hated cutting weight, and uh, that was the only part that wasn't fun about it. Here, it's uh, it, it's it's hard to get workouts in sometimes if you had a like a long day at work or something like that. But you just put yourself to do it, and when you do, it, it pays off, and you look better than everybody else. So, <laughs> all right, Nick, thanks for your time, and uh, we will be catching up with you hopefully sometime in the next year if you have a show in the Northeast Ohio region. All right.